Water jet propulsion, also known as jet propulsion or hydrojet propulsion, is a method of propelling a watercraft by expelling a high-velocity jet of water backward. This technology is commonly used in various types of boats, ships, and personal watercraft. Unlike traditional propellers that rely on rotating blades to generate thrust, water jet propulsion systems use the principle of Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The force developed due to the rapid ejection of water from the aft nozzle of the water jet system creates a reaction force that propels the vessel forwards. The water is directly fed into the main machinery through a suction duct located on the underside of the vessel. Most vessels use only a single duct, although a higher number of ducts can increase the power generated which is required in large vessels. The fluid passing through the inlet is directed through the main processing unit of the system. In case of any blockage due to debris near the inlet, the vessel can be stopped until the debris is cleared. Other mechanisms are present that can back flush the inlet so that the debris is dislodged. The inlet water is a relatively low energy fluid since it is at rest prior to suction. However, in order to create sufficient thrust, it must be converted into a high energy fluid. This is accomplished by inducing an element of turbulence using blades. The blades are powered using an impeller and stator arrangement. Due to fluid mechanic responses, sufficient pressure is created using this turbulence and is then ejected as a high pressure jet from the nozzle. The impeller is a shaft that is powered using an onboard motor. It is coupled to the stator that rotates the blades. To understand the impeller stator arrangement, it can be likened in principle to the engine of an aeroplane that rapidly increases the outlet velocity of air entering the turbine. The impeller shaft is rotated by the main drive shaft connected to the motor and is coupled using reinforced bearings and connectors. The nozzle is located at the aft of the unit and directs the fluid leaving the system. It is controlled by a swivel system that is connected to a steering wheel in the bridge of the vessel. The swivel motion extends anywhere between 150 to 180 on most vessels. There is an essential component known as the astern deflector that aids the vessel in moving in reverse or taking turns while in reverse. The deflector is designed using a hydrodynamical shape that is able to smoothly redirect flow in the opposite direction of ejection. It fits over the mouth of the nozzle and can be lowered or raised depending on the steering maneuver required. The powering of moving components on the unit is provided using two main sources. The onboard motor for the impeller shaft and hydraulics for the deflector operation. The hydraulics are generally oil-based and are stored within the hull of the vessel to prevent any form of pollution in case of an oil spill. To access the various components of the vessel, several access panels are provided throughout the length of the unit. However, care must be taken while opening the system and the entire unit must be powered down and brought to a complete standstill. Due to the large vibrational shocks and forces acting by the propulsion system, the unit is mounted on specialized structures that can redirect and absorb the output forces. The force is redirected into the large hull surface area so that it may safely be dispersed without creating dangerous point loads.